All right, here we go. For problem number 21, it says you dive, if you dive to a depth of 10 meters below the surface of the lake, what is the pressure due to the water alone, and what is the absolute pressure at that depth? Yes? The pressure is 14.7 pounds per square inch. Yeah, but let's calculate it, okay? Let me, let me calculate it. So let's draw the picture first. Now, it, 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 he's probably right, but what I want to do is um, we're doing two things. One, yeah, it's important to get the right answer, right? But the other thing that's important, too, is like that's what I'm really trying to teach you is how do you get the right answer. So you, you dive into the water, right, and you create a big splash, right? And there's little birds of the sea. And then there's like this big sun. Here's the sun, just shining. What is that? That's okay. the sun. <laughs> that is the sun. Draw. Draw more birds. There we go. You gotta make the sounds too. It's the sound of the sun. Okay, and then, so then the birds. <laughs> so anyway, you dive down, and you're gonna go down 10 meters according to the textbook. And question number one, there's two parts. Part A is saying, what is the pressure due to the water alone? All right. What is the pressure due to the water alone? And so um, if you go back to page, I think it's 345 or 346, you can find that the pressure depth relationship of any fluid is going to be this. Okay, the volume of an isolated liquid column is equal to the height of the column times the area of its base. And if we start off with the force, which is really equal to the weight, which is equal to the mass times gravity, and remembering that the density of the object is uh, the relationship between density, mass, and volume. So mass is really um, the density times the volume. And the volume is really equal to the height times the area. But we don't need to know the area because pressure is equal to force over the area. We get that the pressure of an object at a certain depth is equal to H, which is due to the weight of the column, is a rho GH. So this is, it's rho, and I, I didn't draw it really, really well, but that's the density of water. <coughs> Where G is the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. And then H is just kind of the height of the cylinder, or in this case is going to be the depth, right? So now in order to find that, um, I need to know the density of water. Does anybody know what the density of water is? You guys should know it. What? One what? One what? It's one times ten to the third, okay. right? So the pressure then would be one times ten to the third, which is really one thousand. And uh, we should probably write down what it is. It's kilograms. I want to write down the units: kilograms per meters cubed, right? Because it's really uh, the the mass times the volume. Right, and then we'll make some room here. Times g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. Then times h, which is just 10 meters, right? Yeah, and that's what it said originally. Now, there's some funny things that go that take place here. I've got one meter, two meters on the top, and three on the bottom here, so that cancels, and I have one meter on the bottom. Um, and then I've got the second squares and the kilograms. So if I multiply this all the way through, um, if I go 1,000, oops, 1,000 times 9.8 times 10, we should get 9.8 uh, times 10 to the 4.
Now, we call that pascals, right? And that's one unit of measure, which is, if I remember correctly, is like kilogram per meters cubed, something, something, something. What is it again? I forget. Yeah, it's like Newton meters, uh, Newton meters squared or something. I can't remember. Whatever this works out to be, the kilograms and the second squared and all that. Okay? Are there any questions? Now, that was part A, okay? Now, part B, which is I kind of got confused because that's why I, I started to do was part B and forgot about doing part A. Part B asks us to find, well, let's just double check and make sure we're answering. It says, if you dive a depth of 10 meters below the surface of the lake, what is the pressure due to the water alone? Well, due to the water alone, it's just going to be 9.8 times 10 to the 4 pascals. Um, now, for part B, it says, what is the absolute pressure at that depth? Now, absolute pressure is a little bit different. It's the initial pressure plus um, the pressure due to water. So that would be something like this. It would be P is equal to P naught plus P dubs, which is what we just found. And P naught would be atmospheric pressure, which is like 1.01 times 10 to the fifth plus this 9.8 times 10 to the fourth, right? And then if you add all those up approximately, it's about 2.0 times 10 to the fifth, approximately. Because this is like this is like 0.98, so it's really like 1.99 times 10 to the fifth. Are there any questions on that? You guys understand where all the numbers are coming from? Now, what I, I don't think I wrote on the board. Um, there's a chart that has the density. So densities, common densities are written on page um, 318 in your textbook. It's, it should be in your notes too, but it's on page 318 in your textbook. And it's also in one of the appendixes in the back or something. Um, but that th those are common densities for like alcohol, blood, gasoline, mercury, water, air. Um, and then atmospheric pressure is just regular, that's the amount of pressure due to air. So this is atmospheric pressure. Right now you don't realize it, but air is pushing on you. So when you dive under the water, okay, you're gonna have water pushing down on your body because this is your body. And the washer, the water, the weight of the water due to gravity is going to put a, apply a force onto your body. And remember that pressure is force over the area. And we did a bunch of fancy math, and I didn't derive it because the formula is in the book. But basically, that's where this calculates the pressure on your body. Well, that's just the water. You still have the air up here. Well, the little air molecules are smaller and further apart, but those two, due to gravity, push down on your body. And so the absolute pressure would be the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure due to water. And when you add those up, it is a little bit higher. Okay, it's almost one magnitude um, higher. Does that make sense? 